Good morning, third grade. I would like to go over your chapter eight review test today. And we'll start with the vocabulary. It says, choose the best term from the box to complete the sentence. The blank tells how many parts are being counted. Now, not how many parts, the whole is separated into just how many parts you're counting. And that would be numerator, the top number. Number two says a fraction greater than one has a numerator greater than the denominator. That means a fraction greater than one has the top number, which is the numerator, greater than the bottom number, which is the denominator. Number three is a blank has one as its numerator, and that's a unit fraction. So for instance, if I had the fraction three-fifths, my unit fraction would be one-fifth. On concepts and skills, it says each shape is one whole. Write a fraction greater than one for the parts that are shaded. Now, if you look closely at number four, it has two orange circles that are each divided into eight. So to write a fraction that is greater than one, we have to first start with the denominator and we figure the denominator by counting how many each of the whole is divided into. Each of those whole circles is divided into sixth. So that is our denominator. Then we have to count how many each whole is divided into and colored. Each one is divided into six and that makes a total of 12. So 12 six equals two whole. Now number five, we have two holes and they are divided into groups of one. They are not divided. So it's two over one equals two. Now, number six says write a fraction to name the blue part of each group. Now, if you count the total number in number six, there are four buttons and there are two blue buttons. So our fraction is two fourths. Seven's a little different because you can do it two ways. They have it divided into thirds, so you could choose third as your denominator, and one group is blue, so it could be one third. Or you could count the total number of buttons, that would be six, and two out of the sixth are blue, which would be two sixths, or one third. Number eight says circle each group to solve. Count the number of flowers in one group. Well, there are one third of six. They have broken the groups into thirds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have to circle one third. One third equals two. Number nine is one fourth of 12. So they broke 12 into four separate groups. And we have to circle one of those groups. So when we circle one, we have three. Now your check is the denominator multiplied by the number in that group. Three times two equals six. 4 times 3 equals 12. The next one shows 1 third of 9. So they made groups of 3 until they got to 9. Then they circled one of those groups. And in one of those groups is 3. 1, 2, 3. Mason's mom bought a pumpkin pie. Mason wants to eat one slice for dessert. What fraction of the pie will he eat? Well, if you look closely at the pie, it is broken into one eighth. So he will eat one eighth of the pie. 
Now, Joshua walks seven eighths of a mile to the park. Which point represents the distance that Joshua walked? Well, zero eighths, one eighths, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. So Z represents seven eighths on the number line. Kennedy shares two oranges equally with two friends. How much of an orange or one orange does each friend get? I drew my two oranges and I broke them up into thirds. There's Kennedy's and there's one friend and there's the other friend. So it looks like how much of an orange does each friend get? One third and one third. Each friend gets two thirds of an orange. The next one says fill in the bubble for the correct answer. Jessica has these pieces of fruit in a bowl. What fraction of the fruit are oranges? One, two, three, four, five, six is our denominator. And she has one, two, two of six are what she has that are oranges. Two, six is your answer. Then it says Max drew the shape below and divided it into equal parts. What is the name for the parts? One, two, three, four. So he broke it up into fourths. Avery has two blue marbles. One sixth of Avery's marbles are blue. How many marbles does Avery have? Well, if she has two blue marbles and one sixth of Avery's marbles are blue, we drew two blue marbles and one, two, three, four, five, six of two. So she has 12. Two times six equals 12. Alrighty, we're gonna just quickly go over the constructed responses. Destiny has six library books on her desk. One third of them are about animals. How many of Destiny's library books are about animals? Draw a diagram to show. I drew my six books and it says one third of them are about animals. One third, two thirds, three thirds. So two books are about animals. Julian made a flag for his clubhouse. What fraction of his flag is green? Well, if you count the sections in Julian's flag, there are eight and two sections are green. So two eighths because the flag is in eight sections and two sections are green. Number 19 is a part A and a part B. It says Taylor baked a cake to serve after dinner. Suppose she cut the cake into eight equal size pieces and six people ate all the pieces. Explain how they could have divided the pieces so that everyone ate the same amount of cake. Well, I first drew my picture of it broken up into eight. Two pieces would be left. So in order to make sure that everyone gets the equal amount, you have to have a number that both eight and six go into. So I broke it up into 24 pieces and as you can see here I numbered one, two, three, four, five, six and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six because six goes into 24. Suppose there are two pieces of cake left over but you don't know how many pieces were in the whole cake. Explain how you could find the number of pieces in the whole cake if Taylor told you one sixth of the cake was left. I drew six pieces because that's one sixth and there were two left. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 tells me that there were 12 pieces total in the cake. Okay, 
This is your lesson for today. Make sure you correct your mistakes and we will start chapter nine tomorrow. Thank you.